Hi, uh, this is the eighth part of my SysLogNG tutorial. Last time we learned uh, about network logging. Today we learn about uh, SysLogNG macros and templates. At the end of the session, we will know how to do a simple log rotation using macros. Macros are variables defined by SysLogNG. When a syslog message arrives, syslogng parses it automatically according to the RFC 3164 specification. Macros contain uh, parsed message parse uh, like date or hostname. There are also many macros that are created by syslogng, like the time when a message was received versus the time parsed from the message, or a macro converted uh, from another mac macro uh, like month or day from the date parsed from the message. Here are some example syslogng macros, facility, priority, date, ISO date, year, month, and so on. Uh, you can find a lot longer list in the documentation. In earlier parts of my syslogng tutorial, you might have heard uh, me mentioning name value pairs. How are they different from macros? Name value pairs are variables defined by syslogng parser or rule. Uh, like uh, the CSV parser or the rewrite tool. The difference is minimal and the two words are often used interchangeably. Templates can be used to create new message formats or, uh, or file names. Uh, templates use macros or name value pairs combined with uh, some uh, static texts. Here is a uh, simple template. Uh, which replaces the date macro with the more exact ISO date in messages written to a file. In this case, the template is declared uh, separately, so it can be reused uh, on multiple file destinations. Later, we will see that templates can be declared inside a file destination. In that case, the template applies only to that single destination. In a file destination, uh, you can uh, use templates as file names. Uh, you can use macros both in the directory and file names. For example, in a central syslog.ng server, you can sort incoming log messages based on the host name. Note that uh, create deals yes option uh, where the host name is used as a uh, directory name. Without enabling it, the logs are lost if the directories are not created for them. You can do a simple log rotation, which is also based on syslogng macros. You can use the various date-related macros in file names. In the example below, a new file is created each day for each host. You can create a simple cron job which compresses and delay, later deletes log files as required by various operational and compliance rules. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on YouTube or reach out to me on Twitter or Mastodon.